Hi, my name is Mel Olivares. I'm the design lead and fabrication lead on this incredible uh, tech shop inside. And basically what this is, is, is a mobile workshop and education space that brings not only our tools, but also our educational experience to you. Whether it be inside the actual physical trailer or with just the awesome equipment we have in there. So this is the inside. This is where all the magic happens. We have an incredible a uh, modular rail system that everything locks into, so not only do you have industrial security, but you also have the ability to take every piece of equipment and just pop it out so we can populate an outdoor classroom, a library. Every single piece of furniture is adjustable as well, so we, you know, we're ADA compliant. These tools are for everybody to use, which is really, really fun. You see we have your basic hand tools. These will be populated with more stuff. Over here we have 3D printers running. Eventually we will be able to support up to 8 or even 16 3D printers. We have our laser cutters. All this being powered by these amazing Fujitsu laptops that are going to teach the kids 3D modeling skills that basically I didn't get to learn until I was a you know, junior in college. All of this technology is up and coming and a lot of our participants, youth participants, haven't had a chance to witness it. So I was just in there with them and it was incredible to see kind of how excited they were to see the 3D printers in motion and uh, making it happen. None of our programs really have any of this technology wrapped into it as of right now. Um, and it's something that our organization is really pushing to include in our future projects and project-based learning clubs. So this isn't just a one day we show up in your neighborhood, although we can do that. Uh, we're hoping teachers will build this into their curriculum and we'll park this thing for a week and the kids will have finished you know, products and models and they'll actually have an understanding of manufacturing, which, you know, who knows how to manufacture anything in this country anymore? We do, we're bringing it back. We don't own a 3D printer, we don't own any of this technology, but um, in order for us to get the support of our higher agencies and funding agencies, I think it is important to show how engaged the participants are with the program. Unfortunately, our after-school program doesn't have access to that same technology, but it's, it's something that if our organization were to get a hold of that and be able to include it in our curriculum, then we would even further be able to align with the school day curriculum and just bridge, bridge what we're trying to do together even more. Um, and so that's why we started this investigation and to see how we can extract flavor from hops uh, and, and you know, just challenge the existing processes that are used in the industry.